check out the glorious sunshine we have today. It's now springtime here in Scotland and the weather today is absolutely fantastic. It's probably the best day to actually get out today and actually do this video because I've been stuck in the house all week because of the rain and storms that have been happening all around Scotland. But incredible weather today. Now, I'm splitting this video up into two parts. Part one and part two. Part one will come out first, which you'll see now. Part two will be later on. Now, the reason I'm doing that is, well, the Royal Mile is a mile long, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. And there's hundreds of restaurants and takeaways to fill them and check out the menu. So, we're going to split up into two parts. Part one, part two. So, we're going to walk down the Royal Mile and then we'll continue the next again video in part two in a future video. Incredible weather we're having today. A wee bit cold, a wee bit chilly, nice breeze, but you can tell that the air is heating up and the weather is fantastic today. Let's hope the rain stays off today. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the first restaurant we're going to look at is the Cannonball restaurant, which is here, just next to Edinburgh Castle. We're going to have a look at the menu. So for reservations, call this number if you want to visit the Cannonball Restaurant and Bar here on the Royal Mile. There is appetizers right there, starters, mains, and then you've got like a wee lunch menu here. Now, same side. Just a couple of yards down is the Witchery restaurant. Not a Michelin star restaurant, but they do have a good menu in here, but it's very expensive. Let's take a look at the menu. Okay, they do a light lunch, two course for £34.50. Available noon till 4.30 p.m. And there is your starters. Let's see if I can zoom up a wee bit there for you. And then they do afternoon tea for £50, or you can have champagne for £65, or you can have a Witchery Rose champagne for £75. Hmm, interesting. There's the mains there. £45 for a, a lemon sole. Or fillet, Scottish beef, £60. You're going to have to take a bank loan to pay for their prices. I can tell you that. Absolutely horrendous pricing. But we are in the Royal Mile, the most popular place here in Scotland, yes. Everybody wants to be here this morning. It is absolutely, incredibly busy this morning. Not too far away is some ice cream and they also do pizza slices upstairs as well. Pizza slices upstairs and then you've got ice cream. Now, price-wise, I can't actually go in but to give you an idea, a cone is £3, one scoop tub is £3, two scoop tub is £4, uh, the espresso as well, lattes, £3.60, tea for £3, and then soft drinks for £2 for Diet Coke, um, Iron Brew and all that. And then they do milkshakes also for £4.50, two scoops, three scoops is £5.50. Average pricing in there, but what bothers me is why they charge £3 for a tea. It's basically water in a tea bag. That's basically what it is. Now, there's a wee cafe here as well. Uh, City View, coffee and bar, espresso, lattes, whiskey, beer, vodka, gin. They also have a fish and chips wagon just here, but don't know the prices because they're not advertising the prices. But there are wee cabins like this, you can just go there and have a seat here. And you've got fish and chips there as well. The fish and chips, haddock and chips are £14, sausage and chips £12, haggis and chips £12, chips are fiver, uh, vegan haggis and chips £12. Uh, cold drinks available, so if you want to try them, check them out, they're here on the Royal Mile, just before uh, Edinburgh Castle, you go up to Edinburgh Castle, uh, so we're going to continue walking down. Extremely busy in Edinburgh this morning, 
This is part of my walking diet. So I'm trying to get 10,000 steps a day. So this is day one of my 10,000 steps. Right, okay, so if you enter James Close, which is here on the left hand side, uh, this will stop cafe, uh, they do breakfast, lunch, haggis, outdoor seating in there, baked potatoes also, uh, Scottish pies, toasties, perinis, not too sure on the pricing because it's just way in there, but if you want to visit this place, it's just in this wee alleyway down here, uh, it's got a nice wee sitting area as well, you can sit there, and we're going to continue to see what else we can see. Okay, we've got Gladstone's Land, which is uh, ice creams, coffees and cakes in there. I've been in there for a coffee before. It is very nice. Okay, hot drinks for two pound, from £2.30, cold drinks from £1.50. That's where they get you. It'll start from, but it won't be that price, it'll be a bit more. But it is a wee busy cafe here on the Royal Mile, so if you want to check this place out, go and give them a wee check. Right, Deacon House Cafe, open seven days a week, serves beers and wines also, it's down this wee alleyway here. Breakfast, lunch, so it's just basically down here, through the alleyway. Deacon's House Cafe, open from 9.37, breakfast and lunch, and then here is the menu. Breakfast, do they do a full breakfast in here? They do some toast bagels, stuff like that. The full Deacon, £10.50. Smoked Ayrshire bacon, haggis, sausage, scrambled eggs, baked beans, black pudding, roasted cherry tomatoes and brown toast for £10.50. Not a full Scottish breakfast, but, because you're missing a few things there, tatty scone being one of them, but for £10.50, it's actually one of the cheapest places to go here in Edinburgh. Uh, £10.50 is actually okay, considering we're on the Royal Mile here. But, you can also get lunch taste, soup, £5.60, expensive. Toasties, £6.90, £6.90. BLT, which is my favourites, £8.50. Oh, gonna need a bank loan to pay for these prices. Now, continuing the name of Deacon Brodie's. You've got the Deacon Brodie's Tavern which is back open now. It was closed for renovation, it's now back open. And they also do food in there, but I think it's a light menu, like a pub menu sort. So we're gonna walk over, check out the menu. Could be pint in there as well. Let's have a look at the menu here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that because of the sunlight, but you've got Salmon, £9.50, you've got burgers here, our famous <laughs> pies, oyster, mushroom pie, £18. Then you've got the main courses just here, £28 for the ribeye steak. Oof. That's Deacon and Brodie's. I actually thought there was more actually restaurants and cafe up that side of the Royal Mile. It was actually less than what I thought. But we're at St Giles Cathedral just now and there's more down here. So we're going to continue walking down and check out these places. There was one place that I do believe I have missed and that is the Angels and Bad Pipes, I believe, restaurant. Which is, I believe, a Michelin star restaurant. Maybe correct me on that one. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I missed it. It's up there somewhere. Uh, I'm not going back up, but if you want to check that place out, I mean, you can find it on Google. But we're going to continue with St Giles Cathedral. Looking beautiful, busy here. Very busy here just now. Uh, I think these are all the tour guides waiting to, to get a tour wherever they're going today. It's always busy here in Edinburgh in the morning. You know what? I've actually not had my coffee this morning. I don't know what's going wrong with my head just now, but we're actually coming up to the Angels and Bad Pipes just now. Uh, I thought we passed it, but... See, even I can get things wrong, and I'm from Edinburgh. There you go, Angels with Bad Pipes. Very popular restaurant here in Edinburgh on the Royal Mile. Let's check out the menu. 
Haggis Bomb Bombs, my favourite here in Edinburgh. Whiskey sauce, £8. It's actually not that bad. Uh, what else have we got? Anything I recognise? Barbecue Tender Broccoli Risotto Chili Honey, £10. And what else? Classic cocktails in there as well, signature cocktails. Yeah, so what do you think? Uh, angels and bad pipes. Now we've got here Luckin Booths. They do breakfast, uh, brunch, lunch and dinner in here. They do have a menu, so let's go and have a wee quick look at this menu. Hopefully we can see it. Uh, they do small plates here. Soup of the day, £7, very expensive. Burgers and sandwiches. Oh, you know what, I'm not even going to show you any more of that because I didn't want you wasting your money in there. I think it's part of the hotel in there. So I think it's a hotel and this restaurant is part of the hotel. That's why prices are extortion in there. I mean, the whole purpose of me making these videos is to save you money. Not to overly spend on things that you could save money on and go somewhere else cheaper. I mean, it might be good in there. I don't know. Is it good in there? Let me know in the comments. Just over there, Cafe Nero. More a coffee place than a sit down, have a breakfast and meal in there. But they do have, obviously, sandwiches in there. Obviously stuff you can eat. I'm not going to promote big brands like that. You know what they've got. Right next door, you've got burgers and beer. Let's check out the menu. Nice wee sitting out area here as well. Okay, prices. Beer battered onion rings, six fifty. Uh, house side salad, four fifty. Then you've got wings here. You know, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, six pound fifty, twelve pound fifty, all the way up. Quite expensive. Then you've got woody fries here. Uh, hand cut chips, five ninety five. Uh, sweet potato fries, my favourite, six pound fifty. And then from the grill, you've got barbecue pork ribs, uh, thirty-one pound. That just tells you the price in here. Uh, the kids menu also. How much the kids menu? Is there a price for the kids menu? Twelve pound for the kids menu. Cheeseburger with fries. Do you get a drink? You can add a drink for one pound fifty. And then you do beers also. They got beer in there. Wings, unlimited chicken wings, and beer from seventeen pound fifty. Wings Wednesday. I might have to come back and try that out. Wings Wednesday. You'll never get me out of there. Can he? Resist, Michael. Resist. I am on a diet. I am on a diet. Right, we're coming up to the filling station. This place has been around many, many years. So let's check out the menu. Has it changed over the years? Garlic bread. £5.50 Sweet chilli squid £8.50 For squid 12, 12 ounce rum steak £21 Then you go obviously Racky ribs £23 Average uh, Burgers £16.30 £16.60 uh, You've got the double £19.50 And you do have a junior menu there and classic breakfast as well. They do breakfast in there. Traditional breakfast, eight pound fifty. Cheapest so far, eight pound fifty. The filling station. Okay, we're coming up to another place, Gordon's. Uh, we've got a menu at the side here. Let's go and check it out. Okay, Gordon's. Let's go and check you out. What do you sell? Nothing that I would buy. Pizza? Oh, there you go. They sell pizza in here. There you go. That's mainly what I eat. £16.40. And then make your own pizza as well there. And meat and fish as well. Risotto. £19.90 for a risotto. And gluten-free pasta available here at Gordon's. Just across the road you have Cooper still and then you have the clamshell pizzas and kebabs uh, which is a takeaway place but you can sit outside also there as well so let's check out first of all cooper still let's check out the menu they do breakfast in here also 
filled rolls, five pound. Five pound for a roll and sausage. And two pound extra if you would like an extra filling. I say to that, no sir. Don't waste your money on paying five pounds for a filled roll and two pound extra for a, what, a tax scone that's cost like 30p. What are the mains? You've got haggis stack, fish and chips, £19. Fish and chips, £19. Might have to come back and try that. Anybody tried it, let me know. This is Cooper Still. Let me know if you like it in there. Also, Clamshell next door. Fish and chips restaurant. Let's go check them out. What else do they sell apart from fish and chips? Let's go and have a wee Bell's Wine just down there. We cut through to the grass market. Right. Oh! Haddock, fish haddock is, I can zoom up there, is £12.50. Breaded fish haddock is £13.50. Breaded always more for some reason. Uh, cheeseburger, £7.40. With chips, fried half pizza, £6.20. Chips and curry sauce, £5.90. And then they do munchie box deals as well, 15.99, 24.99. You can decide if they value for money or not. There's a wee zoom up for you there. But clamshell, pizza and kebabs, have you tried it? Let me know. Right, have I just teleported to Disney? Indian kitchen. Been in there? Any good? Let me know in the comments. Indian street food and cocktails. Let's check out the menu behind this seat. Poppadoms, £5.90 for poppadoms. Chicken, 69 £6.90. Fish and chips, £11. Nah, no bad, no bad. Fish burger, a fish burger, £9.50. And then they got desserts there also. Indian kitchen. They got a kids' menu. £6.90, no bad, no bad. Have you been there? Indian kitchen, let me know in the comments. There's the beautiful Coburn Street, known as Cockburn Street, all you American people call it. I like to call it whatever I like to call it. A lot of people get upset when you call it the wrong thing, yes. I've always pronounced it Cockburn Street because it's spelled cock burn. Yes, Cockburn Street, but it is Coburn Street. So the next place we're going to look at, I can't pronounce it, so I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this, but it's at the corner of Coburn Street, right here, so you won't miss it. I'm not going to pronounce it, I'm going to get it wrong whatever I say, so let's go and check the menu. Okay, let's check out the menu. Pea and mint soup. £5.50. A crab, £8.25. A burger, you say, £17.45. Beyond Meat Burger, why they steal my name? £14.25. A shade of starter, $15.95. And then they've got sides here also. And then they've got a dessert menu, £6. Is the average price, $5.95. Here, at a name I can't pronounce. Okay, Starbucks there also. Same as Cafe Nero, I'm not going to promote there. You already know, multi million pound company. They don't need any free advertising. But, Bella Italian, the same. You can check the menu online. That's here in the corner of the Royal Mile. Right, I hate to give bad reviews. The Inn on the Mile uh, used to be famous, I believe. I used to go there before a night out. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's not overly bad. But, when going to the toilets, it's absolutely <coughs> disgusting down there absolutely disgusting so if you're visiting when you go down the stair to use the toilets everything's just lying about rubbish sewage 
everything. Oh, it's disgusting, absolutely disgusting. And the toilets need updating. So if you're watching In On The Mile, update your toilets and soak that corridor out. It's disgusting. There's your menu. I'm not even going to show you because I didn't want you to go there just in case you catch something. But yeah, the In On The Mile. Did someone say proper burgers? Well, here at Byron, 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 am I pronouncing that wrong? Sorry if I have, but uh, here we have a selection of beef, chicken and vegan and veg burgers. £13.50. A chilli burger, £13.50. A chicken burger, £14. And they also do fries and wings and all that as well. Average price in for this area. Not the dearest, not the cheapest, but have you been there? Are the burgers good? As long as the burgers are patted, squashed, smash burgers, count me in. I love a good smash burger here in Edinburgh. I uh, had one last night, absolutely delicious. But you're not going to get any free advertising out of me. Nah, I'm joking. I did charge for advertising. It's one of the reasons why I give honest reviews. Okay, the Mitre. Uh, bar, pub, nice in there. Don't know about the food, never had it, but give you an idea. Smoked salmon, 9.25. Haggis, neeps and tatties, must try here in Edinburgh. Only £6.25, that's actually quite reasonable. Uh, ribeye steak, £27. As I say, not the dearest, not the cheapest either. Stovies, haggis, neeps and tatties, main course, £13. That must be a starter, like a half portion size. Uh, dessert. Double chocolate brownie, seven pound. Hot drinks, boom. Espresso, three pound. Hot drinks, and then breakfast tea, three pound. What, what is it? Three pound? Why is everybody charging the same for tea? Honestly, it's just water. Like, it's water. Water in a tea bag. How much could that actually cost? It's one of the cheapest things. The money they'll be making the most profit from you guys is tea. Get an espresso in that case. That costs more money. Tea, three pound. Come to my house and I'll make you a cup of tea for nothing. Put all these places out of business with a tea for three pound. We're next to Morrison's Close and our last place we're going to look at is Whiskey Bar and Restaurant here on the Royal Mile High Street. Uh, we're going to check out the menu. Uh, bites, 5.50. Let's go to the mains. Haggis Tower. Uh, £18.50 for the Haggis Tower steak pie, £19.50. <whistles> uh, chunky chips, £5.50. And then you've got a children's menu, they do breakfast as well. Breakfast roll, a fiver. I mean, everybody's charging £5 for breakfast roll. But I'm going to have to show you where to get a cheap breakfast roll because £5 is too far too expensive. Sandwiches, £8, £10. Here at the whiskey bar and restaurant. That concludes Everywhere to Eat on the Royal Mile, part one. Part two is the second half of the Royal Mile. We'll be checking that out in a future video, not anytime soon, but let's see how this video does. And yeah, that concludes Everywhere to Eat on the Royal Mile. And if I've missed anywhere, let me know in the comments. I'm stupid sometimes, I can't help it. Sometimes you just forget to look at somewhere. But that's everywhere to eat here on the Royal Mile. If you're visiting, let me know if you've visited some of the places. Let me know if you think it's good price in here or do you recommend anywhere else that people can go. Yeah, I hope you have a wonderful time when you come here to Edinburgh and I'll catch you again soon. Take care, bye bye.